show fans, this is Mario Nunez alongside my broadcast partner, Steve Canella, and the official Tampa Native sign holder, that's Davian Benito. We just want to say we had an amazing time Great here time. at the Papa John's bullpen box, 67 of us all together. Round four. We had more food and drinks and good times. We celebrated a raise win, and guess what? In the bottom of the ninth inning, with two strikeouts to go, we got those two strikeouts, so everybody in attendance today, free pizza from Papa John's on Steve and me. Don't throw the ticket away. Don't throw that ticket away. You're going to need to redeem it. Okay, so look, look for this video on our show this coming week. We'll have all kinds of pictures to boot. Steve, you have a good time? Oh, I had the best time. I brought my glove and I didn't get any No ball. No. No. David, you have a good time? Oh, great time. Good. So let's do it all together, guys. Ready? Ready? On three. On behalf of Steve and David, and I'm Mario saying salute and happy, happy days. days. We'll see you Thursday. And that's a wrap. Tampa, those precious memories, a city rising on the move, a simple yet progressive groove, I remember Tampa, and she remembers me. Welcome to the Tampa Native Show. Stay tuned now for the fastest 60 minutes in cable broadcast history. Live from the studios at TBCN, the home of the Tampa Native Show. Join your hosts, Mario Nunez, the 15-minute girl, and Steve Canella as they celebrate growing up in Tampa. From Shock Armstrong to Shakey's Pizza, from Braddock Street to Buffalo Avenue, get ready to call in and tell us your stories because sharing your memories has never been this much fun. And now, Mario Nunez, the 15-minute girl, and Steve Canella. She remembers me. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Tampa Native Show. My name is Mario Nunez, and as you can see, I'm seated kind of way alongside my <laughs> co-host and partner, Steve Canella, a.k.a. Tampa Steve. And way over there is... The 15-Minute Girl. Hi, guys. And we'd like to say hello. We changed things up a little bit as, as the evolution of our wonderful little show here that could continues to grow and blossom. We get wonderful feedback from our fans, and we're trying to take advantage of some of that feedback back by mixing it up here a little bit on the stage. So we hope you enjoy that. We hope you enjoyed that little video at the beginning. We've got many, many more pictures to go. And, uh, and look at that cake behind me. We enjoyed I tell that you cake. What, I just want, I'm going to ask real quick before we get too far into the show if our producer and, and technical director Jeff Haynes will take me out of the shot just so you can enjoy this wonderful uh, visual. That's a cake that was provided for us by uh, Wes Wilson, general manager of the Alessi Bakery right there on Cypress Street in the heart of West Tampa. And as you can see, yes, it was beautiful. And guys, am I wrong? Wasn't it delicious? It, it was, was fantastic. It was also huge. Yeah. It was. And we, rich. Sinfully very, rich. Very rich. And <laughs> it was chocolate and guava. Yeah. And it fed look, 70 people. Yeah. Well, it did. It, fed, did. it fed 70 people. We had a big chunk of it left over. Yeah. And rumor had it that while it was going on, while it was going on, uh, Coach Hickey, the pitching coach, uh, was going to come back and get himself a, a big chunk of it. Well, we <laughs> saved it for him, but he never did come back to claim it. Darn what a it. what a great show we got a chance to yeah. see, wasn't it, good guys? Oh, we yes. have a picture of that too. Yeah, we yeah. Coach Hickey yeah. coming up. Listen, and for those of you that follow the Rays, and, and Steve, while you were working today, I just wanted to let mm -hmm. you know I pulled this off the wire before we left the house earlier today. Let's May I read it for Absolutely. you? Absolutely. It says it. Brandon Allen completed the Rays' ninth inning comeback with a two-run walk-off homer off Angels closer Jordan Walden, giving the Tampa Bay Rays. A 4-3 victory in a series sweep before 15,417 at Tropicana Field on Thursday afternoon. Allen, who made his Rays debut Wednesday by drawing a clutch walk, launched the 2-2 pitch from Walden into the right field stands with B.J. Upton on first base. It was Allen's first official at bat with the Rays and first homer of the year as well as the first walk-off hit of Allen's career. To that I say, way to go, new guy. Wow. What Mar do you say, Steve? Mar I have one thing, say. one thing to say about that. Go 
Go Rays. Go Rays. That was one impressive win today. I tell you what, the Rays just have a magical, mystical way are. of getting the job done. Yeah, they're really Joe good. Madden is a magician when it comes to pulling the right levers. Uh, the fans place? get their money's worth, even though there's, yeah. I mean, 15,000. University of Miami might draw that much yeah. of Florida State or Florida. It was a Thursday afternoon, a getaway day, so an early, uh, an early draw. But you know what? To, to beat, uh, to, to beat the, uh, the, the California, California Angels, Angels. the Anaheim Angels, uh, nice with, with Albert Pool, the great Albert Pool host, mm -hmm. Pool host. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. And they yeah. swept them, and they're in first place right now, and we got to say, go Rays. And we had a wonderful time this past week, and we've got wonderful pictures of that and all good it things. Was great, a lot of fun. Fun. great season. A lot of fun. Stevie, why don't we do what we usually do here before we get uh, we further do, along? Right? Let's talk about our sponsors real quick. Let's, Let's do that. give our Let's sponsors a shout out. We like to do this at the top of the show because sometimes the show gets away from us. Sometimes. And, uh, and, and we don't want to leave anybody out. Well, of course, it is the fastest 60 minutes on TV. Yes, well, it is. hey, where have we heard by. that before? And it's Somebody fun. came up and coined the phrase the fastest 60 minutes. I think his name was Philip Testa. Cable broadcast. Oh, he did say that. Yeah. Phil, if you're out he there watching, the phrase. Yeah. call us tonight Hi, and validate that for us. Phil was the one that told us that, and we just rolled that into our, uh, our opening commentary. Saying he wrote it, it down. Fastest 60 minutes in cable broadcast history. A bold statement, but yeah. I think a factual one. All right, let's talk about our sponsors. First of all, we'd like to say once again, thank you to Alessi Bakery for all that you do for us, for that wonderful cake, and of course, for your, uh, for your love and support. La Unione Italiana. Wright's Gourmet House, Stem Attack Nostalgia and Bonanno, Amarilli Sandwiches and More in the heart of West Tampa on Tampa Bay, Cacciatore Brothers, PJ Testa Accounting, mm -hmm. we talked about Phil Testa, Costantino and Company, Fran Costantino, South Tampa Chiropractic Clinic, and Housewife Bake Shop. Thank you all very, very more, much. One more. Columbia Jobbing. Columbia oh, Jobbing. That right. was going to yeah. be at the, I was going to say, in our newest sponsor, Columbia Jobbing. Thank you, Columbia Jobbing. Who else we got there, Steve? Well, you know, we have our personal contributors as well. We have uh, Frank Cueto, Ronnie DeRigo, chefs Dave Del Rio and George Tamargo. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Henry and Raul Castillo, Copeland More, Phil and Carmen Nunez, Mike and Kathy White, and uh, we mentioned uh, Audrey Lazare with Columbia Jobbing, and also uh, Co um, Copeland, Copeland and Stephanie Moore. Yep. More. Yes. Exactly. And you Thank can you join everyone. and you can join too if you, yes, if, you if you'd like to be a part of the sponsorship family, uh, we encourage you to get in touch with us. There's plenty of room for everybody here. Come on in. The water is fine. And fun. <laughs> and fun. We have a great time here on the Tampa group. Native show. You can tell. Let's remind everybody we do have a comment line. The comment line is set up for those of you that would like to call us maybe after the show uh, to give us your feedback like we've already received some feedback on how we can sexy things up here on the set and make mm -hmm. things a lot more mm -hmm. fun. Switching mm -hmm. uh, that number is 813-920-2508. I'll read it again and there it is on your screen. Yeah. It's 813-920-2508. It's a special line dedicated just for the Tampa Native Show. Comments, questions, cheers or jeers. Right, guys? Exactly. exactly. Yep. Bring it on. We want to hear from you. Thank you. And, and how about our website, Stevie? Give them a little information about our website. Well, the website's still, still uh, growing and we're adding... Um, some changes to it. Uh, we, we want to eventually have all the previous shows built on each week, you know, mm -hmm. within within 48 hours. Mm -hmm. So we're still there's still a couple minor technical difficulties that I'm that I'm ironing out. So stay tuned. But it is TampaNativeShow.com, TampaNativeShow.com. Our email address is show at TampaNatives.com, and we'll we'll display that a little bit on the screen a little bit later on. But uh, it's, it's a work in progress, and we hope to have it uh, up and running. It is up and running now, but we're going to perfect it here pretty soon. Yeah, fully functional. We've exactly. got a great IT staff that's working <laughs> diligently. It's a, it's a big staff, too. You know? It's, it's just... a staff of one, and you're looking at him. He's sitting between me and the 15-minute right. girl. And he holds down a full-time job while work. he's doing that yes. for us. And we thank and we him for his, I don't know how for his, yeah, his yeoman's efforts. Thank yeah. you, Stevie, for, for doing all thank that you, you do to get that uh, website hey, working. it's my pleasure. And, you know, I'd do more, but I, I really don't know what I'm doing. Doesn't but, know but, how. but you know what? It's not work because I love it so much. It's, it's a great cause, and this is just so much fun, and it's a passion. Well, it is, and the Tampa Native Show continues to grow. It's <laughs> very rewarding when we find ourselves different venues throughout the city, and, and people come up to us because they recognize us, and they recognize us for what we're doing here right. with the Tampa Native Show, preserving our wonderful stories and our history. Uh, of this great city of ours. We were just today at uh, Amarillo's Sandwiches and More this morning for a mm -hmm. West Tampa Chamber event. Uh, we had the opportunity to meet uh, Police Chief uh, Jane Castor, which was a lot of fun. Gave her a Tampa Native shirt. <laughs> we, we did indeed. Thank I you wish I could have been there. We delivered that Tampa yeah. Native shirt. We took a photograph. We've got the, the images to prove it. Um, lots of great people showing up there. And you know, that's, that's a lot of what we it's do. A meeting here. Place. It's, it's yeah. connectivity. 
with, uh, with the community. And, uh, and we continue to grow. And we welcome those of you that would like to join us here as well. There's, like I said, there's plenty of room for uh, growth and expansion. And there's well, one more thing about the raise, if I can digress right and get ahead. back to the raise uh, before it slips my mind entirely. There's, uh, rumor has it that there may be another event forthcoming. We know for a fact that on June the 30th, the Rays will take on the Detroit Tigers. The Detroit Tigers, a formidable force in the American League Central. And that should be a competitive game. And, and after the game, I understand there's going to be a little concert event. The concert is going to be with <coughs> Earth, Wind, and Fire. So I'm just saying, I don't know, but there may be a movement. If a Stephen, would you like to go to that? You know, I love Earth, Wind, and Fire. Who doesn't like I, My Earth, favorite Wind, song is Reasons. Oh, yeah. That's... Do you need another reason to go? No other reasons. I don't reasons. think anybody's going to want to miss them. No, great hits, great songs. Yeah. Of my, so, one of my favorite bands. Reach out to the Tampa Natives great. show hosts one way or the other through show at Tampa Natives. Uh, dot, uh, show at Tampa Natives. Um, send us an email. You can call that comment line and say, hey, save me two tickets. Absolutely. So we want to hear from you. Limited seats available. Mario, we were talking about Amaryllis. There's, there's something else we have to talk about. Let's talk. Well, there's something, there's something about Amaryllis, and it's the most amazing place. Um, Every time we go there, we always run into somebody. At least I, I know from, from, uh, for me, every time I go there, I run into somebody I haven't seen in maybe 10, 20, 30 years. And that happened again last Saturday. We were there handing out the uh, shirts for the game on Sunday. And uh, we ran into four, four women there who are watching tonight. And what was interesting about that, it was, it was mainly they were friends since seventh grade. Wow. If you can imagine. And the graduating class, the last graduating class of Jefferson High School, 1967. In fact, mm -hmm. they're having a... Uh, Reunion coming up, I think, in May, first, mm -hmm. two, first two weeks in May. But uh, I'd like to read their names real quick. Please. Very, sure. very Share with fascinating everybody. stories. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's Lillian Cagnina Polo, Julie Palambi Perez, and that, by the way, is Big Mike Padrinan's aunt. Really? Big one Mike, our, are you our, watching? Yeah, one of our big We met with Theo on Saturday. A connection. Watching. Yeah, we hope he's watching tonight. And he probably is. Uh, also, Sandra Silva Trena was, was with the group, and Sylvia Margado Seacrest. Mm. But just incredible. Here's an interesting story, too. Lillian Cagnina Polo, her grandfather, actually, yeah, it is her grandfather, Joaquino Cagnina, and grandmother, Vincenza Sanfilippo Cagnina, they built the building where La Ideal stands now on Tampa Bay Boulevard. And now they, they didn't you know, start the business La Ideal, that came later. But in the 1920s, they built the house on the corner. Later on, it was, I think it was in 1934, I talked to Patricia, Patricia Cagnina today, mm -hmm. her sister as well, just to confirm the dates and times. But, it was, uh, the house was moved in 1934 to where it is now, and then they built a restaurant, you know, attached to it. Hmm. But here's the interesting thing I found out, talking to Patricia. The, guess how the house was moved? That's what fascinates me. I don't know, and I'd like to know, and if oh, you have truck? that information, please disclose it no? at this time. No, no trucks, no cranes, no uh, heavy Logs heavy and, and horses. Close. That's all I got. 1934. Mules and oxen. Mules oh, and oxen. My. And probably a couple horses in between. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, that must have been a sight to Visa, see. Visa Visa and, burden and logs and chains. They did it the old-fashioned way. Oh, wow. But can you imagine? Wow. No. But here's, here's the cool thing, too. Uh, pretty soon, I talk, in, in talking to uh, Lillian and, and Patricia, we hope to have some pictures of that old building. Oh, for that'd the be amazing. That would be really So great. stay tuned for that. Once we get yeah. it, we'll definitely let you know. We'll show it on the show. We had a nice conversation today as well at Emerly's uh, Sandwiches and More, 15-Minute uh, Girl and myself, yes. with a lady named Olga Diaz Norton. And she overheard a conversation that we were having about the race yeah. and about Tropicana Field and about how we need to get them out of that place because ba 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 and all the reasons that we need to move them from there. And she kind of said, excuse me, I, I don't mean to be overhearing your conversation. And so we started talking. Turns out uh, Ms. Norton knows a great deal yeah, about player. baseball. And I'm not talking about it's played with nine guys and three outs and two sides, but I mean technical stuff like, you know, why is this guy batting third? And, you know, Sean Rodriguez is a very versatile player. And, we had a fascinating conversation. Turns out, Tampa native, of yeah. course, uh, grew up, but houses away from where we were at that moment at Amarillo's right there on Tampa Bay. And, uh, you know, it is just fascinating how we are all connected mm -hmm. uh, through our roots and through our history here growing up in Tampa. So we're just getting started. We like to think here on the show that we've just begun to tap the wellspring, that if we did this show for the next 10 years, and we hope to, Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to have to repeat a show because we have that many compelling stories Lots to tell. Of stories. One more thing about the meeting on Saturday where Steve, mm -hmm. where we all met, those wonderful ladies that Steve was telling us about, is uh, a gentleman by the name of? Rudy Fernandez. Rudy Fernandez. And Rudy yeah. Fernandez, this is interesting. I went to, to yeah. elementary school. Beyond this. interesting, mm -hmm. it's, it's almost eerie. Go ahead. It, it is. It's, it's almost yeah. bizarre. Um, I went to school at elementary, uh, St. Lawrence Elementary School, Rudy Fernandez. I think it was uh, like from fifth grade through eighth grade. 
And he had never been to Amarillo's before. So when I talked to him last week, I said, Rudy, we're going to be there Saturday. We haven't seen you in, in many, many years. So um, once you stop by Amarillo's, I'll buy you a cafe con leche. And I guarantee you, when you get there, as soon as you walk in the door, you're going to run into somebody you haven't seen in 30 years. And we were standing by the door, you know, handing out the shirts sure. for, the, for the game. Uh, in comes Rudy Fernandez. And right at the door, he, he didn't even get one foot into the door. And he ran into one, I think it might have been Lillian, uh, mm -hmm. Cagnina Polo, mm -hmm. I think it was her, that he knew. And I said, hey, Rudy, I told you. There you go. I guaranteed it. And he goes, you know what? You're right. You did guarantee it. And sure enough, that it's just bizarre. That's, that's how, how, that's works, how yeah. connected we all are. And that's how wonderful that little community of West Tampa is. Of course, we're the Tampa Native Show, which we include South Tampa, Port Tampa, Seminole yeah. Heights, Temple Terrace. We, gotta, we can't forget our brothers and sisters out in Brandon, Brandon. and Plant City because bedroom communities that they were, Ybor City certainly. I mean, arguably, we're all an all-inclusive. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it just... It's, it's the epicenter, which is, I guess you could say, Ybor City like. and, yeah. and West Tampa, uh, from whence all of this mm -hmm. kind of uh, came up, and, and, and here we are. 100, 100, yeah, 110 <laughs> years later, 115 years later. One more thing, we're just about at a quarter past the hour. We want to go to our phone calls in just a minute, so we'll ask Jeff to go ahead and put up the phone call now. Callers, go ahead and call in. Uh, but at this point, we'd like to go ahead and introduce the question of the week. The question of the week, which is presented each and every week by Stamatak, Astalgi, and Bonanno. The question of the week this week is, La Settima or La Septima? Let me ah. clarify. La Settima or La Septima? There's a reason for this question of the week, which we will disclose in about 35, 40 minutes, a little more in depth, as the 15-minute girl gives us the announcement, special announcement of the week. But we want to make sure that when you call in tonight, you give us your bolita number. You tell us if, you're, if you were with us on Sunday, how you, what a great time you had. If in fact, you had a great time, which we think everybody did. And tell us whether you uh, agree with the misspelling of the word la settima or la septima and why it's important to you that we get it right and spell it right before a little bit later on this summer when the, uh, when the RNC gets here. It's important. It it's is important. important. La septima means seventh in Spanish for those of you that are wondering, why is he even discussing this? <laughs> it's real important. Details All right, <laughs> Jeff, there's the number, 977-6800-813. If you're calling from out of town, you don't have to dial the one because, well, cell phones don't need that. So it's 813-977-6800. Give us a call. Let's, let's hear from you. Caller already on the air. Who? Let's, let's take Oz. Let's take a guess. Let's take a guess. Who wants to vote? I say Joe Abini. I say Thomas Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm going to flip all the cards and say Tony Gonzalez. No, Hugh Perrette. Let's go. Okay, Let's go to the cards, shall we? Stevie, do what you do. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hey, Mario, it's Steve. It's David Video calling. Oh, oh, we were all wrong. wrong. Damien, you got wrong. us again. Hi, Damien. How are you? Great. I tell you, for those who didn't, uh, didn't make it out Sunday, it, I... I had a great time. Saw so many people I knew. I'm so many people I haven't seen, and I haven't seen Fran and uh, Fran and Mike, Fran Constantino and Mike Blue. I haven't seen them in years. And then there were a few people there that actually went to school with uh, one of my brothers. I remember and that. And then after the game, they were talking to uh, one of the uh, CP police officers that was on the field doing security. It turns out that he went to school with one of my brothers. A small world. The system yeah. is great. Those. And those guava pastries, the cake was delicious, oh. the food was great, but those guava pastries. Oh. Yummy. And Amarillo's, Amarillo's brought those Juan were just Santayana. unbelievable. Courtesy of one Juan Santayana yeah. and his lovely crew over there, Amy and yeah, family. They were Listen, they were delicious. I couldn't stop eating them. No, I, I know. And I'm glad that we only had like a, a little bit to take home at the end of that because enough was enough, David, yeah. but they were fabulous. Mm -hmm. They were very good. Hey, thanks for holding that sign for us, my brother. You did a great job. Yes, you did. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I had a, I had a, it was really fun, you know, and the, the seats were great. I mean, that bullpen cafe is a great location. Up close and personal, mm -hmm. huh? You can see the players right there. Oh, yeah. We, and the coaches. I mean, we, you know, if, I, if we wanted to, we could have, you know, we out and touched the, touch the pitches as they would have got thrown out. Yeah. Up to go in, but it was great. I, I really had a great time. I'm Hoping that you do a lot more of those. Thank you, David. Good. Thank we're you so much. Yeah, we appreciate it. You were one of the first ones to send in your check, and you, yes. you, were, you were there early. And, you know, and you we appreciate us. that. From, from the administrative side, you know, we're self-funded, for those of you that are wondering. Mm -hmm. So we, we count on you guys to be, uh, you know, punctual and, and, mm -hmm. and kind of follow through when you say you're going to go. It, it helps us yes. be able to go ahead and, and pay it out in advance and, and get the job done for you guys. And then, of course, 
we thrive on being the hostesses with the mostesses. So, you know, it's a lot of fun for us, Davian, and thank you. I hope you can attend more that, uh, you know, more of the functions that we have to do. No problem. And uh, the, my, as far as the question of the day, uh, it's definitely La Septima. There you go. La okay. Septima wins. We also have your Bolita number. Can you give us a number between 1 and 75? And, of course, we do have a, an array of numbers already taken, but let's see if you can hit one that's not taken. Uh, let's go with 23. 23, darling? 23 is taken. By? Mary Barris. All right, let's, let's go. Hit me with another one. Uh, 19. 19. Um, 19 is also taken. All right, third time's a charm. All right, uh... 26. 26. Not taken. You got it, yeah, David. Right. Number 26. <laughs> Stay tuned. We got a lot of good prizes. And don't forget, don't throw away your ticket because it's good for a free pizza. You were in attendance that day. I've got I, mine. Actually, I actually got it yesterday. And oh. let, me, let, let me tell you, fascinating enough, uh, today's game, the second time in four games, yeah. the Rays pitching staff combined to strike out 10 batters. So Papa John's had to pay out again. How you like me now? <laughs> That's yeah. a lot yeah, of free pizza. Way, I'm going to tell Sonny this on Facebook that how ironic was it that we were in the Papa John's bullpen cafe and on the last pitch, he got the, he got the 10th strike. Meant to be. Right. Meant we, to live be. In, we live in charmed, baby. We live in charmed. <laughs> it's because we're special. Thank you, Papa. Thank you for calling, Davey. We'll see you soon. Okay, guys. Bye, Thank Davey. You. Bye. What a nice we've, guy. We've, yeah. Great, great fan of the show. We've got another caller. That's my fault. We've got another caller here. We'll go to that caller, and we're going to call up in just a minute, Jeff, the video. This is New Year's Eve, 09 to 10. We've got a little minute and 10-second video that we have to show. It was wonderful. It was the countdown. We had Rocking a great New time, Year's Eve stuff. We want to have another party soon. Mm -hmm. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Yes, uh, this is Hugh from South Tampa. Hey, there's Hugh Hi, from Hugh. South Tampa. Hi, Hugh from South Tampa. How are you doing? Good. We're doing great. How Good are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm, I say La, Septi La Septima because I think that's the correct spelling. You are correct. You, you are correct. That's two for La Septima. Thank you, Hugh, so much. We got you down for that. Now, listen, can we count on seeing you at one of our events sometime soon? I think I need to go to the next Rays game because I, I'm really a, a, an avid baseball oh, fan. Oh, we don't have Rays you. Fan yeah. as well. And I think I need to do that. All uh, right, all right. We're going to put you down for that. And we also need a Belita down number. Put me down for that. Yes, okay. sir. It's incredible, you know, what the Rays have done. They won, as you know, they mm -hmm. won three out of the last, they've been in the playoffs three out of the last four years. Some $42 million payroll against, say, the Yankees, $216 yeah. million, and the, and the Red Sox, $180 million. And, I mean, the way that Madden manages the club, the He's way they're fantastic. disciplined in, in the skills. Magic. You know, and and yep. um, the player evaluations, the way they play together as a team. Minor league system. And it's, it's awesome. I mean, I don't think there's any better run organization in baseball than the Rays. I agree with you. And may I add a little post note to that? We got to keep them here somehow, hook, yeah. crook, steal it. We got to do whatever we got to do. We because love our Rays. To lose them now would be just a travesty. I mean, oh, it would. It they're, they're an would. amazing product on the field. I, I don't want to, you know, because I'm a big fan and I'm going to go back to the trop again. It's just that when we were there in about the sixth inning of that game, Evan Longoria hit a fly ball that probably would have left any stadium. It hit the second ring, the B ring yep. as it's known, bounced back into the infield, was called a ground rule, grounds rule double. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I don't what know any that? park in the league that would have held it because when it came off the bat, the trajectory was so high and so far that you knew if it just followed all the way out naturally, it would have cleared the center field wall easily. Easy. Easy. Right. It came bounding back into the and it was just like, really? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Really? Anyway, we got to get him out of the trap. We got to save the day. So, Hugh, we're counting on you to go with us on the 30th. What do you say? Uh, yeah, put me down. Um, Great. And, you know, it, to, to expand upon what you're saying, it's, not, it's really not a good baseball facility. No. If you read the baseball uh, talk, you know, that, uh, the, the insiders, it's a joke. Yeah. It I looks mean, like a circus among tent. baseball people, it's a joke. It yeah. honestly is. I know. Yeah. You know? We, we feel the same way, and, and so do some of the – like last year when they got to the postseason and the postseason gets, and of course, the national coverage, it's the 30th venue out of 30 venues. It's, yeah. it's by far the worst. It is. Anyway, we're not here to smash the Tropicana Field uh, lovers today because we're going to go back again. We just know that there are some shortcomings there, and we yeah. don't mind pointing them out. Hugh, thank you for being such what a fan of the show. What about the number? Do you want me to give you a number tonight? Or yeah, yeah. give it to me, Hugh. Yeah, okay, I'll give you uh, 32. 32 is taken. Go again. Pardon? It's taken. Give me another one. Oh, it's taken. Oh, okay. Uh, let me get number 49. 49. I don't think 49 is taken. 
49 is not. Hugh, the reason that so many numbers are taken, what we gave the folks that came with, with us to the event was first dibs on the Bolita numbers. Right. So yeah. what you're seeing is that, you know, a lot of other numbers are already taken. We had 67 folks at that event. So, oh, but that's okay. Well, you keep giving us numbers because we want to fill that page up tonight before it's all over. I think yeah. we will. Okay. Thanks, Hugh. Thanks Thank for being you. a great fan. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great evening. Thank you, you sir. You too. Bye-bye now. And Hugh, for those of you that might not know, is a big fan of the game Stratomatic. So when he talks to you about player evaluations and when he talks to you about payrolls yeah. and things like a general manager he would knows. know intimately, that's Hugh. Hugh knows about that. It's stuff. like Moneyball. No, no, he knows about yeah. that. He is the Billy Bean of Stratomatics. Can't wait to sit and watch a game <laughs> with him. If we can go to that video now, just before we uh, thank you so much, Jeff. This was a lot of fun. This was the countdown, if you will, to the uh, 09 into 10, uh, 2010 we had a blast. Uh, New Year's Eve moment of yeah, celebration. Kind of started mm -hmm. it all. So we and listen. We hope to do this again soon, maybe this year. And if we do, hopefully you'll be with us as well. Roll them. A lot of fun, wasn't yeah, it? We know how to throw a party. Five thousand square foot ballroom. We know how to throw a party, and the food was great, and the music was amazing, well, and we fun. danced, we boogied down we all night. Do no Champagne toast at midnight. Yeah. I've never even planned a birthday party, let alone a five thousand square foot <laughs> New Year's Eve party. It was quite an undertaking. It was a lot a of learning. Work. And the first, and the too. first one for me and Steve, yeah. and boy, did we jump in with both feet to the deep, deep, deep water, didn't we? We Steve? sure did. We had a couple <laughs> of trying moments there, didn't we? We survived it though. Listen, yeah. I got to bring up if. if this breaking news, thank you for the breaking news story. Uh, this just in, Tony Zapponi, if you're out there, Tony Zapponi, if you're out there watching, please give us a call. Call us on the hotline. We have a problem, Tony. We, this is the time Houston, when... Houston, we yeah, have a problem. This is the time when we do the Tony Zapponi Tampa Trivia brought to you by... Tony. Peroni. Tony, Tony Peroni. Peroni and Housewife Bake Shop. Yeah, and, and our producer, or one of our co-producers, a fellow by the name of Mario Nunez, pulled that question up off the computer today promptly left it on the printer oh, no. so i don't have the question right now to read to you guys tony so the, if you're out there please call us and give us the question because it's a humdinger so the and, question is what is the question oh it's yeah, a great question too question. It's a, no it's a, it's a very it's a very i don't think anybody's going to get question? this one yeah it's a no. long one and i don't remember it it's not real easy tony please call us in all maybe, right let's go to the phone maybe that's tony there thanks for playing that video jeff by the way yes caller you're on the air tell us your name and where you're calling from caller you caller you're on are you there yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, this is Larry Arcos. Hey, Larry hey. Arcos, where might you be, Larry Arcos? How you doing, my friend? Good, thank you. Larry, talk to us here on the phone. Cafe on uh, Armenia, and the whole restaurant's looking at you guys. Wow. Hey. Hey. Larry, listen. Watch party. Talk, hey, talk to me on the phone because there's a little bit of a delay, so if you're waiting for the TV response, it'll right. throw you off. So oh, okay. just talk to me on the phone like we're talking in a conversation. Oh, yeah. Say hello to Kiki and Ralph for me, would you? Yeah, in fact, hold on. Here's Kiki right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike, I just want to make sure that uh, you knew that we're having a watch party here for you. 
Excellent. Listen, That's we awesome. appreciate that so much. You know what? You told us you would do it, and true to your word, man. Take that picture and send it in. And if you guys have more, more than if you send in the picture, you're going to win because nobody sends in a picture. <laughs> I'll get my picture right in. You don't need a picture. We're not the best partners here, but I want to send it to you somehow. <laughs> We had a tremendous lunch today, Geek. Your hospitality yes. always wonderful. Thank you and Ralph Delicious. for rolling out the carpet for us. A wonderful meal. Thank you. Okay, man. We love you. Have a good one. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank Big you so shout much. out, Geek. Before you go, you want to you wanna weigh in on the question of the day? I don't know what the question is. Here it is. Ready? La Settima or La Septima? Well, I think we should still live right if anything. It's SAP. There you go, La Septima. Put Correct. booking it down for La Septima. How about your bolita number of the week, eh? Uh, this is a 13. 13, 13 I think, is taken. Yes, it is. Try again, Keith. Lucky number. Seven. Seven? Seven. Oh, I know seven is taken. Seven Give is taken. Give me a big number. The big numbers don't get taken too often. How about 69? Hey! 69. 69 is taken. You know 69 mm -hmm. is going to be taken. Get the Brand. pasta. <laughs> I'm going to give you, what, what's, the number, what's the high number, baby? 75? Yes. We're going to give you 75, Keith. Yes. That's All right, right Papa. Thank you so much. Hey, saludo, you, Cari. Un abrazo to everybody there, okay? Thanks for watching. Okay. Thanks, Keith. Thank, thank you, guys. That's wonderful. You know, he'll, he'll probably win now. That's our good friend, Henry Castillo, his brother Raul, uh, that has that Castillo's that's Cafe. Awesome. Right there off of Armenia and Maine. Having a big in, lunch party. If, if, if Tampa Bay and Amarillis is the heart, what, then what's, what's Maine and, and Armenia? That's got to be the center of the heart, no? You might say that. I mean, the artery? The, the, yeah. The arteries. The main, the main, <laughs> yeah, the main. That's the valve. Look at that picture there now. Let, let me talk a little bit about this picture real quick. That was a lot of fun. This we was an a, amazing night, too. This was uh, August 11th of 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, the village people were playing in a concert after the game. We all got dressed, of course, like we always do. Packed house, as you can see behind, they had the 300 seats almost all sold out. And the game was great because they wore the Tampa Tarpons uniforms. It was throwback the throwbacks, night. Throwbacks, yes. Uh, the uh, Baltimore Orioles, they played that night. They lost the game. The game wasn't that good. They lost 5 to nothing. And the Orioles wore their 1977 mm -hmm. uniforms orange. They were hideous. Mm -hmm. But the Tampa Tarpon uniforms were very, very yeah, sharp. Cool. Very so sharp. what does that picture tell you? Number one, we like to have a good time here at the Tampa Native Show. And the Tampa Natives group. And number two, we don't mind getting dressed up. Let's go to the we phones and see who's on the good phone. good sports. And we're good sports. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Caller, you there? I'm from New York. Oh, I know oh. who this is. Hey, is this Hi, Tom from New York? Tom. <laughs> he's Long our, time Tom no is here. Our, he's Tom is giving you and Joe. Joe Abini's not calling tonight, by the way, for those viewers that are wondering where Joe Abini is, because his team tonight. is in the playoffs tonight. Yeah, Joe is coaching tonight. So, Tom, tell us what you're doing up there in New York. Well, I'm staring at, like, a bunch of colored bars because the, uh, the the webcast is not working this evening. Oh no 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 no! Oh, the U stream the U stream went down. Yep, I'm looking. At, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay well, we, as you said, as know. you said that, Tom. Our producer jumped out of the chair. Jeff Haynes, who's our technical director and it. our producer, was shot out of his chair <laughs> like a cannon. <laughs> he did. And he's he's going back to find out what's going on. So thank he's you for the now. heads up on that. Well, yeah, I've been trying to call in, to, to, you know, so I can let you know. I appreciate it. Well, you, you know Tom. what? You got to get in early on this show, Papa, because very popular show. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't say so well, ourselves. Well, Tom is going to be our official New York correspondent. Yeah, Tom, yeah. You're, you're earning the spot. Now we we, oh, we, we have. Where's our Brazilian? Yeah, we have a Deep South correspondent, yeah. Yeah. gentleman. Yes, gentleman Ricky. by the name of Ricky T. Parnell, who lives in Curitiba, Brazil. And he's, I think he's been under the weather. He's been battling, has some health challenges. So yeah. we haven't heard from him in a little bit. But you're going to have to pick up his slack and become our. <laughs> Far North correspondent, perhaps, Far North, or New York, exactly. our New York correspondent. Are you up for that task? I like New York. The, the, the Northeast correspondent. There you go. Yeah. The Northeast correspondent. NEC. It. The NEC. <laughs> the Northeast correspondent. Hey, man. <laughs> I know you don't know enough about La Septima, La Septima, so we're going to put you down for La Septima because I'm voting for you. <laughs> <laughs> but give us your bolita you number. Like it or not. Give us your bolita number. Oh, you know what that number we know. is. It's going to be eight. It's going to be eight, right, Tom? <laughs> Number eight? They eight might is be taken. taken. Eight so, Tom is taken, well, Eight sorry. is taken, so go for 18, 28, 38. Give me one of those. Something with an eight. Eight, magic eight. You know, you have that little eight ball you shake around, you, it floats up to the What night. does it tell you? <laughs> check, check again, please. 28? 18 is available. 18 is available. How about 18, Tom? 18? Let's give him 18. 18 for Tom. <laughs> 18, <laughs> 18 for Tom. 
New York Tom. It's New York Tom, our, our Northeast correspondent. Thank you, brother, for calling. We appreciate it. We look forward to hearing from you. Listen, we hope to get that Ustream situation cleared up real quick, okay? All right, guys. Thanks, thanks for letting us know. Thanks, and uh, take care. Thank you, Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. We Bye. always look forward to your call. Thank you, Tom. Bye, Tom. All right. Bye-bye right. now. That's Tom, I'm man. I'm glad you all know about that. That's yeah. Great. He's our buddy. We're now. at about 35 minutes past the hour. It's, Already? It's literally flying yes, by. Yes, it is. Um, Gosh, if Tony Zapponi's out there, we hope he calls in because we need to get his he Tampa trivia. He may be on the line now, hopefully. Question of the week. Okay, Stevie, ready? Ready. Mind. Let's go. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hey, Mario. Yes. Hello? And who might this be? Hello? Sounds familiar. Caller? <laughs> Mario, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Caller, who's this? <laughs> this is Jamo. Hey, Jamo, hey, how are hi. you? Great, man. Just called to tell you we had a great time at the game. Oh, that's nice. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, if I can introduce the caller to you, those of you that may not know, given name is William Jameson. This Bill, Billy, I know him as Billy Jameson, Jamo Jameson now. I've known Billy since the first grade, man. We went Aww. to Grady together through sixth grade. Then we went to Coleman together through ninth grade. And we parted, kind of parted ways in high school. He went to plant, and I ended up at Jefferson. But you know what? Neighborhood buddies playing youth ball and pony league ball. And, uh, and, and dear friends that got reacquainted, reunited this past week at the Rays game. Jamo, we had a great time, brother. Thank you so much for coming out. You and Debbie both. Oh, you're, you're welcome. We had a great time. We're going to come again. Good. Can't Good. wait for the next one, man. Just want to call and tell you what a great time we had. Brother, that's great. Now, listen, that's do you, like do you wish? Thank you so much. You wish to weigh in on the, uh, on the question of the week, la septima, la septima? Because if, if you don't know for sure, I'll help you with that. Okay. I don't know. Okay, then let's go with la septima <laughs> for Jamo. <laughs> Now, give me your lucky number between 1 and 75, and if you don't have one, pick me Debbie's number. 55. 55. And one I had before. Double nickels? 55. Did you give us that one at the game? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got, down. You, down. We got down. you down for that one, Jamie. Okay. I got his girlfriend. Is Thank you so much. Does Debbie have a number? You want to give me one for Debbie? Um, yeah, one. I'll give you one for her. How about 46? 46, baby. 46 is available. All right. Debbie? There we go. There you go. Thank, Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, Jamo. great to see you, Papa. Really, from my heart All to right, yours, buddy. great to see Get you. I'll see you soon. Nice to meet you. All right, Thank take you, care. Bye-bye. Bye. We saw him at Amarillo Saturday. What a great story. And, and, and that's another thing the Tampa Native Show has mm -hmm. a tendency to do is bring people together, especially old friends that haven't seen each other for a good long while. Want to take another call real quick? Sure. Let's do that. Maybe this is Tony Zapponi. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello, caller. Are you there? Uh, are you talking to me? Yes, yeah. we yeah, we're talking to we you. Are. Oh, this is Tony. How are you doing? Oh, Tony hey, Zapponi. Yes. Tony. All right, save the day. Oh, you sound very distant. I am so sorry. I, I, I was stuck in the printer there for a minute. Oh, Tony, <laughs> Tony, bail me out, man. I, I left a copy of the question of the Tony Zapponi Tampa Trivia of the Week, and we may run out of time to answer, but if we throw it out there this week and nobody answers hey, it correctly. here you go. Here it is. Here it is. 20 years ago this week, mm -hmm. Universal Pictures was in Tampa filming a major motion picture. Mm -hmm. Production had to be halted for one week because one of the principal stars caught the chicken pox. Oh, wow. What was the name of that star? Was it a kid star? And I'm going to give you a little hint. Uh, to my surprise, when they were here in Tampa, when the production company was here in Tampa, uh, they used the old Jefferson High School as their uh, headquarters huh. for filming, and they filmed all over Tampa. Wow. And one of the scenes was filmed right down the street from my childhood home in Palmetto Beach. So nice. There's your question. That's, That's awesome. a great question. That's I remember the movie. Question. I I would not have ever gotten the the answer to the trivia. Of course, I know it because I read it. So I, I'm not going to disclose it. But I do remember the movie, I and don't. I'll give uh, the movie will disclose itself, and you remember because I tell you what, I'll give half half a prize if people remember the movie because that's an easy one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I won't say any more. I won't say the, who the big star was, and I won't say who the name of the high school buddy that I went to who had a just a small part in the movie. He came in, he was in one scene in the movie. We'll leave it at that, but everybody will remember the movie once it's... Okay, great. So I don't need to call you back with the answer then, right? Not for the movie, Tony, but we'll, we'll give... It's a two-part question. Half the answer for... Half the payout purse for the, for the, for movie, the movie, and then, and then the other half for... Uh, or the, or the rest of the payout for, for the actual star they, that you're looking for. They get the name of the star. They get the full... Full Monty. Full $10. And wow. Tony will deliver it to your house. All right, Tony, <laughs> thanks for calling. Thank you. Have a good evening. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Thanks, Tony. Bye-bye. Bye. The courier service? Yeah, Tony's a pony <laughs> delivery. <laughs> All right, let's go, to, let's go to the phones. They keep coming hot and heavy. They might have we'll, the answer. And for those of you that are standing by that attended the game this weekend, 
right there hard by your TVs because, man, we got the video. We're going to close the show out with the video in just about five, six minutes. We're going to bring that video up. Great montage, music provided by Mike Baluha, images by Mike Baluha, photographs by the 15-minute girl, by the way. Caller? That's right. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello? Caller, are you there? Let me push that button again. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello, this is Patricia Cagnina. Oh, Patricia. Hey, hey you are. Hi, Patricia. Good Hi. speaking with you today. I was calling about the movie. You know really? the movie? Was it Cop in a Half? Ding, ding, ding. Oh. We have a winner. Wow, that was good. Job, good job, Patricia. That's now, do you know the star that was sick, that got sick, that had them postpone the movie? That's the tough part. That's $5 already. Yeah, that's the tough part. It was the little kid, but I don't remember his name. Oh, I was Okay, right. Tony Zapponi, if you're out there listening, and I know you are, because you just called, <laughs> you're going to have to rule on that. Patricia, how, how has uh, the rest of your week been? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, excited about uh, watching us on the show tonight, because we're always excited about being here. Yeah, I'm, excited I'm very about being excited. Watched. I heard you mention our <laughs> store. Oh, and we can't wait to see the photos, by the way. That's going to be a, a super treat. Can't wait. Oh, we'll get those to you. Yeah, we'll get together on that. We'll we maybe we'll meet it on the release. Thank you so much for the offer, the generous offer. Very Would nice. Would you like to weigh in on the uh, question of the day? Do you have an opinion? I've always heard Septima, but I think that's more like for the restaurant. Okay, so we're going to put you down for Septima, Septima? as well. With a P, right? And, we, and we've got a, a special announcement coming up here in about 10 minutes that mm -hmm. you're going to want to listen to, Patricia. It's, it's kind of important, actually. It's something that we, um, uh, it's sort of a pet cause that we have adopted here at the Tampa Native Show. You know, uh, we've slowly but surely become the keepers of our history. And, you know, not necessarily with intent. We didn't start out to do that. But as the show has evolved, we realized there are so many stories and so many families and tell. so many connected families and our history is so unique with the cigar industry and how the Asturianos came in and the Cubans came in and the Sicilianos, easy for me to Sicilianos. say. Sicilianos. Yeah, that, what Steve <laughs> just said. It's just important for us and we're embracing it we're, and we're moving towards it with light speed. So we thank you for your contribution and we look forward to getting those pictures from you real soon. And we're trying to preserve as much as we can. Okay. It's, it's and do you have us. a Belita number? Do you have a Belita like number, Patricia? Because we're giving away some stuff later. Oh, it's 48 taken? 48. 48. I, I think it, it is. is. I think it is. It is not. It's it is not. not. No. I, thought, I could have sworn. Okay. Wonderful. You're in. Patricia, right? Patricia. Thank you, Cagnina. Thank you thank so much. You. We appreciate it. Thank you, Patricia. All right. Thank you. Take care. All right. Thanks for calling in. Bye-bye. Good. And ready? we got 15 minutes to go, Jeff? Oh my goodness, the hour is wow. flying by. That's fast to show that happens. ZT, can you slow the that clock down week. over there? I know you're watching, man. Can you slow the clock down? Because we got things to do. All right, we're going to get to the 15 minute girl special announcement in just a minute. Okay. We have more and, calls. And we got, to the, yeah, we, get to the, we got two more calls. Two we got to get to these calls. We got to get them. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hi, Mario. This is Lynn Hathaway, Tampa, Florida. Hey, Lynn wow, Hathaway. Lynn, it's been a great long time since we've talked. How are you, Lynn? We, we met you at the MBA Telethon, the very first Loved one we it. did. I've been being able to see the show. Oh, All that's right. wonderful. Good, good. Hey, listen, Mario, I wanted to let you know a bunch of us are going to be getting together this weekend at the Christ the King Carnival, a lot of the old timers. Oh, so, that's right, the Christ the um, King. We're all meeting up there around 6 o'clock. Oh, On Saturday? i got to do that. Saturday night. You know, if I'm, if I'm in town, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swing by. Are they going to have it. churros? They better have churros. <laughs> I love churros. They always had those at the we school carnival. We were just carnivals. talking about churros. What today. I understand too is, if I'm not mistaken, Lynn, they're going to they're going to raise the school at the end of the school year because they're building a brand new wing. Is that correct? They're taking the whole school down that we you know wow. that we grew up with. Of course, of wow. course. And those of us that didn't go to parochial school, I didn't, yeah. but I did go there for my catechism classes. I had my first communion uh, studied there. You know, my CCM classes there at Christ the King. So, um, yeah, that building is, it has a tremendous history and a tremendous attachment to our community. Well, my parents got married there. Yeah, no, every, you know, every significant happening on the south side of town that had dealings with Christ the King was, you know, everybody went there, certainly. So thanks for the heads up on that tip. Yeah, you want to uh, weigh in on the question of the, question of the week, la septima or la septima? Oh, it's septima. S-E-P, is that what I heard? S-E-T. S-E-P or T? T is in Tom. T. Okay, so one vote for Setima. Okay, one. I just wanted to make sure we're, we play fair here. <laughs> that vote might be converted by the time it gets to uh, I think downtown so. to City Hall, but that's all right. We've got a big special announcement coming up. Thanks so much for calling, Lynn. Belita number? Thanks, Belita number before you go? 
71. Go with 71. I think that's fresh. Catch for two nope, it's taken. Oh, no. Oh, darn. 72? 70? 70? 70? Yeah. 70s. All right, Lynn Hathaway. Thank you, Lynn. We appreciate it. Thanks, Mario. Thanks, Lynn. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, we haven't heard from her in a while. Oh, wow. The callers keep coming out. Navy, there's a caller right there, it looks like. They may have the, the $5 answer. Oh, that's true. Okay. After this one, we're going to go to the video. <laughs> caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. We've got just a couple of minutes left. This is Cindy Baluha calling from the BYB in West Tampa. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Hi, honey. Cindy. How are you feeling? Good to hear from you. Oh, I'm feeling great, guys. Thank you. I just wanted to let you know, thank you so much. Julian and Mike had such an awesome time at the game. Good. And uh, Julian also had a great time riding in Miss Fran's convertible on the <laughs> yeah. way. All right. And Cindy, Julian had the best seat in the house. He too. did. He did. He hung over the ledge the whole time, yep. didn't he? Yep. He absolutely did. He's such a huge baseball fan. As a matter of fact, Mike and him are at practice as we speak. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you're TiVoing this or DVRing it or whatever yeah. it is that they call that thing so he can see it. If not, it replays on Tuesday because we're just about to show his video montage. So. Okay, I appreciate it so much. He has it actually taping now. Good. I just wanted to call in, tell you guys it's an awesome show. Mike truly enjoys being part of it. Great. And I look forward to going to the game when Earth, Wind, and yeah. oh, Fire will be there. We're so lucky to have you guys as part yeah. of it too, Cindy. So much love back to you. Yes. Same to you. Thanks and my Bolita number ah. will oh, yeah. be, since somebody took 18, how about if I do number 70? Oh, number 70 is, is open? oh, it's just been uh, taken. Oh, sorry. Just recently. Um, how, it's up 68. 68. 68 is open. Cindy Baloha, you got 68, baby. Okay, guys. Got gotcha, you, Dan. And I've always heard it, SEP, S-E-P. Yes. Gotcha. SEP, <laughs> okay. thank you, my love. So good okay. to hear from you. Bye -bye. Thank you, Cindy. Bye-bye. We love them. Yes. They're great. Okay. We've got to get to the 15-minute uh, We have to. Call out. Special <gasps> announcement, Special darling. Special announcement Let's get to is. The, all right, let me do this. Let me set this up real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, this special, this 15-minute girl special announcement is brought to you by South Tampa Chiropractic Clinic. Darling? The special announcement is a very special announcement in that it is in reference to what we've been talking about today. Uh, the correct, correcting of the misspelled septima to be septima, mm -hmm. as it's supposed to be. Seventh and it's going to be on May 10th. There's going to be a city, uh, downtown city hall. Mm -hmm. They're going to have a meeting about it, and we need people to come out in force mm -hmm. and um, help this thing get corrected. Yep. Yep. Thank you for that, darling. So more information, call the, uh, call the hotline, which is 920-2508. That's the comment line. If you need more information, you like more information, call that number. We'll have that information for you. Mm -hmm. A lot more on that. Okay. Before we get to the Bolita drawing, we've got a video that we've got to show. This is Mike Baluha's video. We've got 10 minutes to go. Caller, we see you there. Please stand by. We'll come back to you in just a minute. Jeff, I'm going to set this up by saying that we had an amazing time on Sunday. Everyone did. Uh, thank you so much for my Plant High School and, and, and Coleman Junior High and, and Grady Elementary brothers that came out and hung with us, to my West Tampa family, to the Tampa natives that have been there with us since the beginning. We hope that this is only the beginning of many, many more great times to come. Yeah. Jeff, go ahead and take us through that video.
Again, much love and much props to mm -hmm. Mike Baluha for putting that together. Thank you, Mike. That was and really good. much love and much props to the 15-Minute Girl for taking Thank all of those you. photographs. Thanks, Dick, Dick Crippen, for stopping by and saying hello. That was we've, so cool, man. Yeah. We've got to get to the Bolita drawing because we've got four items that we want to give away tonight. We're going to do that now, and then I'm going to come back and close the show with some information about next week's guest. And once again, to repeat the importance of our attendance at that May 10th and event. And the Bolito... Belita drawing. <laughs> the Belita drawing is sponsored by Costantino and Company Real Estate Services. Fran Costantino. Fran Costantino. Thank you, Dolly, for remembering that. Really Always well ready with your numbers, Dolly. Here we go. Yes. Let's go. We got to Let's pick the first minute and a half to go. Draw, here. The first Belito number is. Belito. Excuse me. <laughs> number fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Sounds like a winner to me. No takers. Closest to without going over. Uh. Fran. Frank Costantino. Wow. Tell her what she's won, Johnny. She she's has won. won. Go ahead. A. A free pizza. Free pizza from Papa, from Papa John's. John's. So that means she's got two pizzas. She can have a little yes. pizza party at her house. Okay, let's see if we can get one of those other winners. I'm going to go to her house. Here we go. Got to go quick. Got to go quick. Number 20. 20. Closest to without going up. Uh, number 20 right on the money is Junior Santayana. All Junior right. Santayana won a free pizza. Free pizza. There you go. Papa John's. We're giving away this Tampa Bay Rays hat. Tampa Bay Rays. I have the next winner in my hand. The next winner is number 45. 45. That's another uh, ringer, isn't it? Nobody. Nobody, huh? Uh, let's see, David over. Clark. David Clark? Okay. Yes. David Clark is our 44. winner. 44. David, we hope you're winning. I mean, you're winning. We, <laughs> we, we, you won. we hope you're watching. <laughs> David, let us know how we can get that hat to you. And, and here's the grand prize of the night. Let me hold, let me hold it okay. up. Okay. For those of you that might have already seen, where have you seen this before? Gee, yeah. I can't imagine. That's our brand new Tampa native shirt. There it is. Kind of cool. <laughs> All right, that's the one that everybody was wearing that afternoon, that Sunday afternoon this in Papa John's. Let me dig the final. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. let's make some up. Let's make some up. Ready, Steve? Pull from the bottom. Here we go. Pull from the bottom. And the grand prize winner is, wow, number 53. 53. 53 goes to Michael White. Michael White. He's Michael a lucky guy. Michael White. What a lucky fella. You can't win unless you get in. And, of course, our fans always call in and, and give us their numbers, and we're so grateful to have you guys out there. And if you have those pictures from your watch party, please send them to us at? Show at TampaNatives.com. That's show at TampaNatives.com. Attach it to that email address and send it to us right away. Now, how much time do we have left, Jeff? Oh, about three and a oh, half minutes. Okay, okay, I can take a breath. Okay, I we're can good. slow down for just a minute and tell you that next week's guest is going to be Mr. Rudy Fernandez. Rudy Fernandez. Great. Rudy, story. a former city council person with a wonderful history, a long history here in Tampa. But he told us a real compelling story on Saturday that really caught my attention. We were having breakfast at Amarillis. And uh, it's one of those stories that I think uh, not only does it war warm the heart, but it's, it's, it's just about the human connection. It's about the human spirit and about how serendipity sometimes enters into our lives in the strangest of ways and changes things fundamentally for mm -hmm. us. Rudy will be here next week to expound on all of that, and he's going to give, uh, give us an account, first-person eye, uh, of what he's going through. I'll give you a little foreshadowing. Here's a spoiler alert. Uh, he's, he's working through uh, a connection on a recent trip that he made to Cuba. I'll leave it at that. That's your tease. So be sure that you're here with us next week uh, so we can flesh that story out for you. That's a good also, teaser. Also, let me thank you, Steve. Also, let me follow, follow that by saying that it's <clears throat> vitally important for those of you like myself, like Steve, like the 15-minute girl, um, uh, that uh, find uh, La Setima, S-E-T-I-M-A, to be an egregious Offensive. And, 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 and very wrong spelling of what should be La Septima, which is the Spanish word for 7th Avenue. You know, we've got the RNC coming in here in August, mm -hmm. and uh, we don't really necessarily want to have them uh, walk down 7th Avenue as vital as that corridor is in our, t our city's history mm -hmm. and, and see that uh, the Latin Quarter can't even spell 7th Avenue correctly. Yeah. So there's going to be a meeting in the City Council on May the 10th and uh, we need bodies there. We need bodies Lots there and we will be there. So, you know, uh, anybody that's interested in this, please call our hotline, 920-2508. Uh, there'll also be something for our Facebook family. There'll also be something posted very, very mm -hmm. soon uh, to give you much, much more information we'll keep in you up depth. To date. Yeah, Definitely so will. we appreciate your interest in that. For those of you watching over there in Henry and, uh, and Raul's place at Castillo's Cafe, so huh? salud. We appreciate you being there as well. I know you guys are having a great time, and, and we hope to be there with you guys pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Guys, what a wonderful show. We've got great about a uh, minute zip, and a half zip, to zip. go. Well, a good time to maybe thank all of our fans and sponsors again. Sure. Thanks yeah. for being there. And by the way, you can go to the, the uh, Tampa Native Show 
www.ghostbusinessmedia.com website and click on view sponsors and you can see all of our sponsors there and click on them. But and we love all of them. Thank you so much. Without our fans and sponsors, we wouldn't be here, as we, as we always say. It's very true. Thank you. Currently, we're going to, uh, we're working on the website. So if you went to the website and wanted to send us an email by contact, clicking contact us, it's not active currently, but you can certainly either leave us a message on the hotline or you can, uh, you can send us an email directly to show at tampanatives.com. Mm -hmm. And if you've got ideas for, for shows that you'd like to see us cover, I know Hugh Perrette's out there watching, and he's been hounding us about doing a wrestling show. We're working on I'm that, I'm with Hugh. you, Hugh. I promise you, we're working on that. There's also a show that we've got in the works uh, to honor a gentleman by the name of Mr. Luis Benito. Uh, That'd be good. Uh, and so we're, we're working on some really, really Lots interesting shows, and, uh, and we're going to have all that lined up for you soon. If you'd like to work with us here as well in the studio, there's room. There's room for camera people, there's room for technical staff, so, uh, and we welcome, we welcome, you know, Jeff does a great job for us, and DT's in there helping him tonight, the but it's here. really just, mm -hmm. it's us three and Jeff, so if you think that you might like to delve into some, some technical work and some TV work, we'd love to have you join us here at the Tampa Native Show. 15 seconds to go, guys. I love you guys. Well, this, is a, this is a great yep. show, and, and, and every week we come here with, uh, with a lot of pride and a lot of joy, so stay with us. Give me the three shot, Jeff. And salute, guys, and happy salute. days. We'll see you real soon. Happy days. Back when we were younger And everything seemed new We used to have a lot of fun Yes, we did No matter what we do Sleepy days, long summer nights Going anywhere we please with love that I could call my own, love that I've always known, the city that I call my home, a home from which I never roam. This love affair was meant to be. I love her and she loves me. I remember Tampa. Oh, she remembers me. She remembers me. Tampa Native Show.